politics. Greetings, my denizens of death. I am Vincenzo Lajo, and this week's scary story is the mystery of Mote Kazuma. The year was a year so terrifying, I dare not speak it, when an eerie series of strange and unnerving events unfolded in the distant South American capital of Tenochtitlan. Yes, Tenochtitlan. The mighty Emperor Mote Kazuma had no idea of the fate that was about to befall him when haunting visions began to curse his land. First, in the ocean off the Aztec coast, a mysterious house appeared in the turbulent waves, somehow moving towards the land. Then, ghostly figures appeared on the shoreline, pale creatures that looked like men but acted like gods. And from this house of horror, from its very bowels... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we need a sound effect for the word bowels. No, I, I don't want to hear that particular sound effect ever again, OK? <laughs> and from this house of horror, from its very bowels, unearthly monsters were unleashed, demons with the bodies of wild deer, but the arms and heads of men, each of them gripping a silver wand that spat flames, striking the Aztecs dead. And as Monte Kazuma watched the carnage, he wailed, What are these demonic creatures? For little did he know the chilling truth. These unearthly creatures were not demons or monsters, nor aliens, nor gods. They were Spaniards! What? <coughs> and the house in the sea was a Spanish galleon. The ghostly figures were just invading Spanish soldiers. The flaming wands were guns, and the half-deer, half-men, well, they were just people on horses. Let's clear this up 